So let's talk about Ancora. So my trip to Ancora, this was, uh, they're located in Ginza and I was lucky enough because my hotel was only like five minutes away from this shop. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, Ancora is a sailor's um, retail shop uh, and you can get customized or build your own pen there. Um, and I almost didn't do it um, because I bought my fountain pen there. I had my eye on this one pen from Ancora and if it's like, if I'm getting any fountain pen in Japan, I told myself that I needed to get this pen because it's going to be much cheaper d directly from the shop. So I didn't have to pay for shipping or any import fees. Uh, and I've had my eye on this pen f since they came out with it, I believe a year ago. And I just never, you know, wanted to pay that, um, like, you know, all that extra fee on top. So when I found out I was going to Japan, I'm, I <laughs> really, really uh, wanted this one pen that they had that I didn't want to pay on the internet for. So um, I was so excited when I was able to finally get to Ancora and I knew exactly which pen I wanted. Um, so I just was hoping they would still have it in stock because they are already down to very limited quantities of this pen on the website and if you go on the website they will show you how much they have in stock um, and well not exactly how much but like if it's limited quantities or if it's sold out it will be displaying that on the website so I checked and checked and checked and um, I also emailed them just to you know make sure that they still had it in stock they said that they do um, but you know some nib sizes already sold out so but they did have uh, what I wanted so I uh, you know went to Ancora found my way and um, they had it in stock so and I was able to also um, pick up uh, some I believe ink and some other accessories at the shop and stamps um, which I already started using a little bit and I absolutely love everything that I got here and including the build my own pen, my build my own sailor pen. I forgot the name of the exact pen, but it was the build your own pen and um, it's not like a gold nib or anything. It's the lower end um, and it actually writes very well and I had so much fun doing it and it's actually one of my favorite pens and I've been using it ever since I got back. So. Um, I'm so happy I actually went back just to do that um, custom pen um, and I will show you that uh, actually I'll, t I'll show you that right now so um, I'm already using it so it's in my case and it is this one so this is um, the pen that I you know customized in the store so basically they give you like um, like you get this little dish trinket dish and you pick whatever color you want for the uh, for the lid and the body every single detail you pick from the shelf and then when you're done picking you give it to um, you give it to the pen maker on your way to the cashier and you can watch them build your fountain pen right in front of you. And I thought that was like the funnest thing to do. I've never seen that. And it was so cool to experience this. And uh, what I chose was, um, I don't know the name, but it's almost like this beige cap with this mauve gray body. And then I chose a pink uh, section here which actually is one of my favorite colors and reminds me of the mini sailor that I have and it kind of matches my shirt but this is like one of my favorite colors this muted pink uh, dusty pink or whatever you want to call it but I thought the colors you know go very well together and um, I like that pop of pink when I uncap it so uh, this pen actually writes so well and it's just like a regular lower end sailor nib which I forgot the name of. And this is, there's only one nib size. 
and that's medium fine or or fine. Wait, what is it? No, it's medium fine. So you only get choice of medium fine for these custom pens, I believe. So I was happy with that because I use medium fine, and that's my preferred nib from Sailor. Uh, and it says made in Japan, Sailor. So that's the nib, just so you guys can see. It has the Ancora uh, logo on it, so it makes it like such a great souvenir piece um, because you can only, only uh, get this at the store in Ginza. So that's my pen. I'm just absolutely loving like this uh, color combination. So that's, and, oh, and it comes in this box. Like they build it and then they give it to you in this beautiful Ancora box there. I love the packaging, it's so nice. When you buy a pen from there, they give you like a free ink cartridge, I think. So, um, and then with the purchase of this pen, I purchased this ink converter and I believe I put it in here. I think I got the pink one. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I know I didn't. I got the brown ink converter here. And although you can't see it, I got a colored one because colors are cool. And uh, and then I picked up this um, this cleaning cloth, polishing cloth. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a cleaning cloth um, that has a cute fountain pen on it with um, with an ink, silver ink. So um, I don't know, this is so pretty, I don't know, I don't think I can ever use it. Um, but if I want to like, you know, maybe polish up my pen or anything, I can use this. I got some um, Ancora stamps um i don't know just to kind of commemorate that i've been to this store and this is a very uh, this is their other type of bottle they have in the store uh i think it's for custom inks that they have uh, they do have like an ink master that comes in every now and then to mix specific colors for you but he's highly sought after and you have to make an appointment in, uh, like months in advance and it his appointments sell out very fast. So there's no way I was going to get that opportunity because, you know, um, so that's the other one. So I thought th these are mini stamps. I thought these were um, cute. So I got those. Um, and then I purchased two inks. Um, so this one is obviously a very good souvenir piece because it is the color of uh, Mount Fuji. It's a like a like a grayed blue or grayish blue. And I got that just because you have to <laughs> when you're there because it's so cute. It's Mount Fuji. Um, I haven't tested any of these inks yet because I was saving it for the video and I haven't had time to do the video. Um, and then I they have a special ink uh, that you can get only when it's actually raining in Tokyo. So I was hoping it was raining and I did go during kind of like a rainy uh, season. So they did ha have it available because I, the forecast said it was raining. So, and it is this Ancora rainy day ink. And it's so cute. It's also, I know it's also like a blue ink. I don't use a lot of blues, but I really don't mind this um, neutral blue tone. And look at that, it's like a, it's so cute. I love the label. And um, let's see, look how cute that is. That is just really cute. Um, and I had to get it. So I had to go back when it was raining and I made it, I think half an hour before they closed to pick up this ink and they had it in stock. Uh, and she did limit it to two per person, or was it, yeah, two per person, I think, or? She said I could get four, I don't remember, but, um, and then after they did sell out. And if you go when there is a full moon, they do have, uh, they do have a version for the full moon, I believe. I forgot what the name is called, but it's like a purpley ink where you can only get it on a full moon. 
Uh, so that is really neat. I really like the concept of that and I feel like it's really fun. It adds a really playful vibe to the brand. Um, and I'm really going to be enjoying these inks because it's the best souvenir uh, from Japan. And I also, they had like a few notebooks and I don't know what this is, but it says botanical Shiba on Quora. So I'm not sure. I think it's infused with like plant leaves, I think. It looks like that. Uh, and again, their logo of the fountain pen and the ink. And um, so I believe this is cream paper and it's blank. So I don't know what paper this is. It kind of feels like Cosmo Air Light. It really does feel like Cosmo Air Light or something similar to it. It's pretty thin. It's not as thin as Tomo River paper, but it's very silky. And it has a coating on top for sure um, but I have no idea what I'm going to use this for probably something to do with inks maybe an ink swatch book I'm not sure but it's so cute and um, I'm glad I decided to pick this up okay so for the accessories that's all that I got now let's get to the best part which is oh did my box get dented a bit okay so this is the fountain pen that i really wanted that i had my eyes on um even before i got to japan so this is the one pen that i needed hope they had in stock once it got there and i have not even it's I'm, i've been back for like i think I don't know almost two months or uh, almost two months and haven't even used it or looked into it but my box did get dented in my suitcase um, so that's another thing with, with um, traveling with inks it's always like a, um, such a gamble but so I picked up this beautiful set this is the Pansy. This is the Pansy uh, fountain pen and it comes with a matching burgundy ink bottle and ink which is like a violet purpley tone and it matches the pens, uh, the Pansy's on the pen and it comes with uh, an ink co uh, converter, uh, cartridge converter and then it has the logo and gold foiling and it says a place to come to experience the colorful world of stationery bring you a stationery experience that goes beyond simple writing and drawing that is Encore's fondest desire and look how beautiful the cap is it is actually a um, golden cap over here um, and then the pen uh, so that's the set um and it's just absolutely gorgeous and um when i brought this back i made sure to put it in my fountain pen case instead of the box just in case um so i had this in my carry-on because i didn't want to put it in my suitcase to risk losing anything here's the uh top of the cap and it has a beautiful symbol of the pansies and then let's just do a close-up shot I love the glitter throughout and I like it that it's not too much glitter and um, it actually fits very well with the tone of the the pen the color it's like a warm uh, yellow but it's not too yellow it's kind of hard to explain but you can see it against the background there better um, but it's just really pretty and it has the glitter goes all the way into the end caps if you can see that it's this milky uh, cream color and it just continues into that um, and 
that's the close up of all the pansies. So uh, I thought this was really cute. And here's one look around. And I had this <laughs> um, pen on my radar for so long. To actually pick it up in person is just amazing. And here's the nib. That is gorgeous. I don't have any uh, unique sailor nibs uh, like this. And I know they always do it on special editions. Um, they also had a like birth month uh, theme series with these pens that you can get depending on the month you were born in. And it says 14K on there. And that is just gorgeous. I love it. And I have not inked this thing up yet. Um, so uh, let's put the converter. Oh, wow. The converter has shimmer in there, sparkles. That is such a neat detail that I did not know that they did. That is really neat. That is so cool. So even I like the ink um, converter is also has this shimmer to kind of like continue that theme of this pen. That is amazing. So let's just put that in there and close it. And there you go. And that just fits right in there. Huh. Okay. And the cap is, yeah, so caps look just like that. Caps. And this pen is just so gorgeous. And I love it. So if they do have it in stock, you can order online. They have global shipping um, on their Encore website. Um, so that's the pen. And I have not swatched the ink yet, but this is how it looks like. It has that gold foiling and that really beautiful pansies um, on the sticker label. And this ink is not shimmer. I don't think it's shimmer. Um, no, it's, it's not shimmer. But it's just this burgundy purple toned ink. And I think it's, it makes a really um, beautiful set. Um, and yeah, so that's the pen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all my haul from everything I got from Sailor Ancora in Ginza. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if you have any questions or if you're going to plan a trip there, feel free to leave me comments down below and I will answer them as I go along. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.